Hi everyone. I just finished reading Jill Bolte Taylor's new book called Whole Brain Living, The Anatomy of Choice and the Four Characters. Dr. Taylor is a neuroscientist who had a stroke in her left brain. Her understanding of the functioning of the brain coupled with this experience gave her a unique insight in how the brain integrates information. She wrote a book about it called My Stroke of Insight, and there is a fantastic TED Talk that she gave by the same name that's available on YouTube. In her new book, she describes the different, quote, groups of brain cells that give birth to certain characteristics in the human personality. Character one comes from the thinking part of the left hemisphere. Character two from the thinking part of the right hemisphere. Character three from the feeling part of the right hemisphere. And finally, character four from the feeling part of the left hemisphere. She describes each of these characters and how they perceive and process their individual experience based on how that group of brain cells functions within the brain. So character one is the organized, focused, get things done part of ourself. Character two is our wounded child. It holds our pain, fear, and deeply held emotions. Character three is the class clown, lives only in the present moment and is infinitely creative, friendly, and fun-loving. Character four holds our connection to ourself, others, and the field of all life. This character is our being self. I can only say that I love this book. It is one of my top six most impactful books I have ever read. My Character One loves the framework that Dr. Taylor lays out for understanding the inner workings of my personality and how I relate to myself. Character Two is relieved to finally be getting some compassion about how it carries all the pain and hurt for others while they're out having a good time. Character three carries my joy of living and is now realizing that she's not getting her fair share of attention during the day. And character four is saying that she's just been waiting patiently for me to come back and just be with her. This book has given me a unique insight into how I relate to myself and others and how I cause my own unhappiness. I feel like a marriage counselor who's negotiating both awareness and cooperation between the parties involved. I'm teaching them how to convene as a group to make decisions for the greater good. I'm seeing my relationship with others through the lens of this character study. I highly recommend this book for anyone. She does a far better job of explaining the different characters than I can here. I promise you this book will change your relationship with yourself and others for the better.